situations are going to be paradise here. Well, come on upstairs, I'll show you one of the rooms. This is a perfect place for the competitive body will train. Do you agree? Perfect. You've got their kitchen, they have everything they need. Yeah, right. Yeah. Plus, if they don't like cooking their own food, we have our own chef downstairs. The big problem was always that food. Yeah. yeah, plus we're right on the beach. That day they love, they love to go down and get the sun and get that final look. Right? And uh, right on the doorstep, they've got the world's most famous gyms. The yeah, there's Gold Gym and World Gym right down the block here. It's yeah. terrific, I tell you, they love it. Uh, I can see it down on the stalls, that, uh, they're selling all the workout gear. Yeah, yeah definitely. So let's have beautiful rooms to relax in. Let me show you one of the bedrooms. Good. <laughs> These last few months, what word, one adjective, would you use if you had to use just one word for Michael? Okay. Intense. I don't have to think about that at all. Yeah, the word intense. Mike, you look up the word intense in the dictionary, it's pictures next to it. Yeah. That's the bottom line. There's, there's, there's nobody like that. And I cut that combination with his sensitivity and his emotions and uh, that type of thing. He's a, he's a, he's a time bomb. But uh, Tristan and I have been a real stabilizing factor for him. And he's made a big difference in a lot of things he does. But he'll always be intense. That's why he is where he is. That's why he's not quite. I think um, the, the one um, people misinterpret um, intensity and they associate it with arrogance, you know? I'm not an arrogant person. It's just when I'm in the gym and I'm doing what I do, I'm a real focused person. And it may appear like to people like I'm some kind of asshole. I'm not because I feel that when you, if you're trying to be the elite in something, being the elite also, there's a psychological thing that you, in your mind you have to know. My dad, my dad trained me for my first four shows. And, he, and when he was bringing me up training, he said, you know, if you want to be the best, you have to train the hardest. One week, wreck some people, one week. Yeah, one week. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on. People are afraid of aggression, but they're drawn to me. No matter how afraid they are of my coin, there's still something about me that they're like, wow, you know? There's a certain energy there. My, my goal was that, that, you know, even when I go on stage now, it's like, I go out there, you know, okay, I'm there for the, the, to compete, but I go out there for the fans, you know? If they go off and I make them crazy, I did my job. I mean, I mean, last year in Germany, I wasn't even in my best shape, and man, I got a standing ovation. Even though I get people upset, I create controversy because controversy is exciting and another thing, controversy motivates myself. I mean, this year I attacked Haney. You know, I didn't do it out of disrespect for Lee Haney. I did it out of the fact that I needed to motivate myself and for me to be at my best. I think you're seeing all the competitors being in top shape because, you know, I piss people off. I think I make people be at their best. I think this year at the Olympia you're going to see the top five guys be at their absolute best condition. And I think I had a great deal to do with that this year. Uh, pull, pull. Get up. Uh, Press it. Uh, Come on, Neil. Swing. 
develop them to the standard I'm at. But even if you see me now, I've been training now 15 years. I still train real hard in the gym. Because if people come into the gym, I want them to know, you know, if you are one of the best in the world, which means you train one of the hardest in the world. That's why I have a, sometimes I have a lot of disrespect for my competitors because I don't think they're representing the sport as us being the elite. You know, I see amateurs coming to the gym training harder than the pros. That upsets me a little bit. I think it prevents our sport from growing because we don't look like, you know, um, I think that's how I established my name is like Mighty Mike Quinn because I'm always pushing my limitations and I think I think that makes me also become a role model for kids coming up. Oh, you know, he got there through hard work. I mean, I didn't get here like no easy road for me, you know. The major reason that I'm in bodybuilding is um, for performance art, to be able to perform. Diana Dennis does other things to tell people the story with my physique. So I've come up with these different ideas over the years through dreams that I have. Actually, what I call this is physique performance art, and uh, this one happens to be what I call the rotating ring. And I have another one that involves a huge stage-sized spider web. <laughs> 